But this way, you can't fish yet. Aren't you forgetting something? You're gonna let me do that? C come here. Come here, Miss Intro. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right there, you can't fish yet because I have to catch the f first fish. Okay, is that like, can't see. I'm good? You're good. I can do my intro? Go ahead. Okay. Okay. So like, <laughs> you realize you do realize everything that you're doing right now is literally going to be in the video like it's not just going to start what you're doing right now is literally part of the intro I'm not even kidding you're not going to edit it out no i'm going right now we're rolling from okay. here hello and welcome back to another episode of clayton schick outdoors for those of you that do not know me my name is reagan exner this right here is clayton schick and this is the outdoors i think i nailed it there she's been she's been dying <laughs> to do that intro for how many years? Like three? <laughs> yeah, so Reagan is Carter's brother. Sister. My, oh my, <laughs> Reagan is Carter's sister. Yeah, we won't, Carter's brother, we just won't talk about that. Reagan is Carter's sister, Cindy's daughter, who hasn't made an appearance yet on any of my videos, mostly because she's been at school for so long and hasn't had a chance. But today's her day to catch some walleye and show me how it's done. Walleye and pike, most likely. The problem is, is she's not fishing and I am, so I'm trying to catch the first fish right now. So you can, you can stop looking pretty and you can start fishing now. Today we are targeting walleye and pike. It's a multi-species kind of day. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I caught the first one, Ray. You've been fishing longer than me. I think that's only my second cast. So basically today's video is like going to be talking about the transition from some spring to summertime because now it's like summertime the walleye are basically starting to move to some of their summertime patterns and we're targeting them in different areas as you can see most of my other videos of the past have been like literally near shore now it's like we're out in the middle and this is actually a pretty good one to start off with should have netted him so ray's on right now she's on a jig and a leech i'm on the plastic which i might put her to at some point just because we have a better chance of catching some better fish i feel like in terms of size but we will kind of make that decision as we go. So we'll talk a little bit of areas and kind of techniques for this time of year. Right below the boat. Just about to stop reeling out. They're definitely a little bit nicer size out here, which is a good sign. Good sign for sure. Both fish are, aren't small. I'd rather catch less fish and better quality fish like this right now. Nice fish. Nice fish. Should be netting you. I definitely yeah, should be netting you. Why am I not netting you? Oh boy, this is bigger than I thought. You want me to grab the net? No, we'll be okay. I got it right here. <laughs> definitely a little bit uh, bigger than I expected. I'm not going to lie. It's like a 22 inch or something like that. I should have been netting that one. You can see it just got the tickle tail hardly right in the lip. Yeah, nice, perky. Love it. See ya. Ooh. So keeping bottom contact is important, but you can make bigger, bigger pops. I think the biggest thing with this is sometimes just don't do anything for a little bit and get let it get time to get back down to the bottom. And then you can give it like a good a good pop up, a couple reels, and then stop and let it fall down again. Okay. And cast right out this way here. I took I took Ray off of the jig and the leech already just because of how aggressively they're hitting the plastic. And it's a little bit easier for her to fish a little bit more aggressive too compared to fishing really finessey. So I think she'll have more fun with this style of bait in the long run. So I think it'll be a good, I think it'll be a good choice. And when they do bite it, give it a hard hook set with your wrist. Just snap, hard, hard. Bam. Bam them hard. Yeah. Yeah, got still him? Yeah, first cast. Literally first cast with the swim bait. And she made about three ah. or four with a jig and a leech. It's a baby. It's a baby? Oh, just a baby. It's a tiny one. I don't even need the net for that one. Okay. Are you done? Just swing over to me. Yeah, that's okay. It's something. It's something. Well, it's the first cast with a soft swim bait. Yeah. You made how many casts with a jig and a leech and nothing. You don't always need bait. Instead of like 
two twitches, give it like one. One, one, one more further pull, like a, like you like pop, yeah, like that, and let it fall. And then hard perp, yeah. Sometimes they'll hit it like you won't even, once you go back and go to set and go to pop it again, they'll be on there and you yeah. just follow through with the hook set. Yeah. Got one, and a girl. It's baby again. Baby again. It is a tiny one again. But that's okay, if you can catch the small ones with soft plastic, you'll catch the good ones too. It's good, it's good, it's good, it's good. A little bit easier than fishing with leeches, hey? You don't mm -hmm. have to put the leeches on, deal with them. <laughs> I enjoy it. Oh. What happened to our nice sized fish? We're crushing them right now, but they're small. We're crushing them, but they're tiny. That one's small, smaller than my first oh, one. Nice. Double, double headers. Double. This one feels a bit bigger. A little bit. a little bit better. Oh, not okay. by much though. Not by much. Just hooked funny. Nice. Well, it's not small. Definitely better than uh, the last couple we caught. We're back to our nice size again here. Yeah. Okay. Easy. Don't get us wet. It's all good. Don't get us wet. <laughs> yeah, it probably did feel good, didn't it? Yeah. It's already hot out. It's already hot out. Nice. Well, they're pounding the soft plastics. You can continue to fish the soft plastics all the way into summer, fall. I'll start fishing a lot of harder baits like hyper rattles this time of year too. But it all depends really on the depth that you're fishing for the most part, whether you're going to go soft or hard. But that's a nice 21 inch walleye right there. So while Ray keeps fishing here for a little bit, I'm going to pull out the camera and show you on the mapping a little bit of something we're looking for for this time of year as we're starting to transition into a summertime. So like I said earlier in the year, I was fishing a lot of shoreline stuff. Right now, we're at like this mid lake little hump here. So you can see we're sitting in about eight feet of water here. And off of this side here, we go into 30 feet and then even this side here, it gets a little bit deeper, right? So we started right here on the point, we caught a couple of fish and we slid a little bit further up here and caught some fish as well. But you zoom out here, you basically see it's just like a big, long, extended point, right? So another spot worth trying here would be like this little rock or uh, hump here too. Look at this spine there. And then uh, there's lots of other spots like that that you can find as well on any given lake, especially if your lake is charted or mapped. And the lake that we're currently on is on the Manitoba Lake Master uh card here by hummingbird it's pretty slick i think they have i don't even want to quote i won't even want to quote how many high definition maps that they have that's actually charted i'll put that number here and then there's a bunch of standard definitions as well but the standard definition ones aren't going to be as reliable as your high definition ones that have actually been surveyed in the last couple of years so this map card right here Lake Master, Manitoba. You can do some research on it to see if your lake is charted. But if you fish Lake of the Prairies, this is a must have and it will make your transition into the summer and the fall much easier compared to the spring where you can pull up to pretty much any given shoreline on this lake and catch fish. But this time of year, trust me. If you don't have a hummingbird unit, you can actually get that map right on your phone as well which is pretty handy in that sense so you can come out to like a lot of these mid lake humps and you don't even have to have a depth finder just set yourself up on one of those humps on your phone anchor spot lock talon whatever you have and just cast around it because all we're doing literally is we're up here on this hump and we're making casts along up on the hump down off of the sides of it letting our lures sink and then just popping them in popping them in and we've been getting bit with soft plastics. I think we've probably caught about seven or eight fish already in, I don't know, 20 minutes probably. Nothing with bait at all. Yeah, oh. Yeah, there's a bunch of fish <laughs> out here. Bunch, yeah. the double? <laughs> nice. Nothing to it. Ooh. Mine's smaller. Mine's, I don't know what mine is. 
Yeah, this for definitely years? feels bigger than what I've had this earlier. Yeah, I think we might be netting yours here. That's not bad. Bigger than mine. There, there we go. go. Nice. Nice. I'll let you get that. Just like that. We actually just moved locations a little bit, slid over, literally first cast each. Bang, bang. This one actually looks like a pretty good eater, which I think we're going to keep some fish today. And raise is actually too big. So, lunch? Not lunch. Yeah. Hold them up. Perfect. About a, nine, about a 19, 20 incher. Throw them back. Oops. That's okay. I was trying to release them right. So, this is what we're using right now. This is a 3.8 inch tickle tail from Kalen's. And I'm running it on this one, a Pendu jig, and this is the sunny color. And then Ray has on the, uh, I'll look at, I think it's a debate fish color. Yeah. Purple Oof. and silver. Pil purple, silver with a white head, and mine is dark. Hers is called a shiner. Shiner. So if you guys didn't know, I'm the one who actually set up my mom and Clayton. Was that like six years ago now? Seven? Be a while ago. Uh, they knew each other from our hometown, but just never really pursued anything. And I think mom messaged you on Facebook to tell you to come to one of Carter's hockey games. She wanted me. <laughs> oh, and uh, he came to the game. And I won't use Carter's choice of words, but he was like, like, who's this guy hitting on my mom type thing? And I texted, oh, just baby. It's okay. I texted him off mom's phone and invited him over, gave him our address. I slid right in there. <laughs> right, right. I think she slid into your DMs actually. Yeah. And uh, yeah, he came over and had a few drinks at the kitchen table and the rest is history. There's a bunch of fish out here, right? If you want to cast out that way, Kay. for sure. I think I found them again. Small though. Oh. Yeah. Got a bite too? Again. Just double headers. That one's a little bit better yeah, maybe. Yeah, it feels like it. That one may be a bit better. This one looks like another luncher right here. Another double header, just like that. Just dead weight, he's not even. Not even doing much, might be better fish. I'll get this one off here in a live well and come net yours. Oh. Yours is a bit better. Now he's running. Oh yeah, this is a walleye, it's good. Yeah. This is a walleye, it's a big one. Just don't be a pike, be a walleye. That's a good one, that's a good one. That's a good one. Well, what's, oh. Nice. That's the biggest walleye I think I've caught. Think so? Yeah. Ray just wants me to hold it so I can make it look good. <laughs> but that's a, a nice fish, probably about a 22, 23 inch walleye. So on another, another double header. Nice. Yeah, I think that's my biggest. That's literally like our third double header already. And all we're doing, like I said earlier, pitching it out, popping it in. I'm being a little bit more aggressive. Ray's being a little bit not aggressive and both are working. It's just all about getting that paddle tail. Just thump, 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 thump. I think about three, four more casts, and we'll transition over to a little bit of pike yep. just for a little bit. Another one, jeez, awesome. I say transition over to pike just because we're trying to have mostly a fun day of fishing more than anything. It's not like we're coming out here where it's like, have to just target, just walleye. But as you can tell, <laughs> I just lost mine there. It's it's on right now. Like the, the walleye bite is happening. Got grab? it? Yeah, yeah you can, can get it, you can get it. I ruined our I ruined our double header, Ray. That's okay. I'll pull the weight for you. <laughs> that one's just a baby. Yeah. Oh, he splashed me. That felt Probably good though. Felt good, though it right? did feel good. Oh. Got one. Oh, I just gotta get my doubler now. Little guy. Come on, Clayton. Come on, Clayton. Is he not little? I guess he's not that little. 
I guess he's not that little. He's just probably been fighting he's probably a keeper. Well, maybe too big to be a keeper, actually. <laughs> or it could be just perfect. Here, me. you reel us in, I'll get the fish. I'll catch you another fish. There you go. Oh, he is bigger. Yeah, he's a little bit too big to keep. He'll be over the, the size limit. Thank you. <laughs> okay, should we go pike fishing for a bit? Sure. Oh, there we go. Nice. It's walleye, I think. I think it's a walleye. No, it's a little pike. Baby pike, do you it's want It's a little pike. No, I'll be okay. Baby pike, you just keep casting because sometimes when there's one, there's more. So you keep chucking. Finally found a pike. Finally found a pike. Well, we weren't unsuccessful. Well, our target species acquired anyway. It's just a, a smaller version of what we're really after right now. Oh, good one, big one. That's a good one. Well, we definitely got what we came for now. I'm just gonna try to back him out of the weeds here. Or maybe not. Do you want another? Yeah, you I? can net him. You just oh, gotta no. try to try to scoop his whole body first. There you go, First you got try. him. Good net, good net job, good net job. I didn't mess it good up. Good job, nice keep fish. him down in the water. Nice. Yeah, crazy. So unfortunately, I left my big bump board in the truck today, but that's about a 39 or something like that. Beautiful fish. We've now conquered a, a good pike too. And my net girl's taking my hook out for me. What a girl. Struggling. Struggling. Easy, easy, easy. When it's a little bit warmer out, just give them some time here. Beautiful fish. It could be even 40 inches. That's nice. Beautiful fish. There she goes. This is one of my all time favorite pike lures Shine Glide by Savage Gear. And then I put on those grip treble hooks, which I have talked a little bit about already, where they actually twist up to like four times. It's been an awesome bait. It'll be linked below where to get them. They're killers. We've transitioned back over to some walleye again, which kind of been the, gonna be our idea for this video is just to kind of bounce around a little bit as we go through areas. We'll do a little bit of walleye fishing and then if there's some pike in there, we might do some pike fishing. So it's just all about a fun day of fishing, enjoying this beautiful day out. Cause it's actually, believe it or not, it's not Clayton hot yet. It's, it's, it's okay, it's still, it's still bearable. It is only 10.30 though. You donkey. You donkey. There we go. Little guy. That's not what we're after, Ray. That's not what we're after. That's the smallest of the day. Yeah, that's not what we're after. But it's a fish. Sure. We found some walleye again. You. I got him for you, Ray. Did you, do you think They're it's right the here, same though. fish? I don't know. There's a, I think there's a bunch here. I think there's a school here. I got your fish for you. I think it's another live wall fish. I really? think it's another live wall fish. I do. I do. I think it's the perfect live wall fish. It oh, may be yeah. a size, maybe a bit too big actually. But we're gonna find out. There you go. That's a good one, yeah. Keep your tip up. Don't don't drop down too fast to him, right? Like. Keep good pressure. Mm. Little guy? Yeah. He's just a little guy. He's hooked funny. But we back to a double again. Oh. We're back to a double again. Didn't I say this little point right here? Yeah. Amazing. Amazing. Just like that. Bang, bang. Doubler. So we've basically been using our mapping and just kind of just going from spot to spot, trying to pick apart some areas. We've caught a couple in the last little bit, nothing crazy. We've had still lots of double headers. But we haven't caught anything probably over 20 inches. We caught a couple around that 18 and a half, 19 inch range, but still looking for a couple nicer ones here before we wrap up this video. So we're just picking up, picking apart a few different spots here 
Right now we're fishing like a little bit deeper hump. It's about 13, 14 feet. And we'll just kind of keep trying different things from there. This time of year, walleye can literally start to be anywhere. All the water is all uniformed. It's all the same temperature. They just spread out. They could literally be anywhere right now. We have had no problem catching oh. a pile of fish this size. Oh, oh, oh. And it was almost in the boat, my reel. That's, that's a netter. It's just hooked. Oh, it just hooked on side. The side. It's just hooked on the side. Oh, that sucks. Oh. oh, 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 oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no, it's nothing to be sorry about. It's like you did it purposely. <laughs> oh, he's trying to swim. It's it's like not even that bad of a size of a fish. That's why it's even worse, right? Because <laughs> Oh, buddy. He probably took a swipe at it. You know what? We're probably going to eat him. This is bigger than what we've been. Oh, it's too big. It's too big. It's it's 18. We thought we had maybe another eater for the live wall, and we don't even. This one's a little bit too big. Ooh. You need a net? I'll get him. He's a, I don't think he's small enough to keep to eat. They're out here still. A little bit better. That's what we're after. That's a little bit more what we're after for size. Nice. Okay, well, we're still catching some decent fish, lots of small fish, but he's hammering, gone. Swim bait, completely munched. We've <laughs> caught, I don't even know, maybe 30 fish, somewhere mm -hmm. in that. Obviously not every fish is gonna be in the video, but uh, every fish has been on an artificial bait today. It's been awesome. Yep. Yeah, girl. Oh. Ooh, might be too big for the live well. It'll be close. It'll be close. Come back. There we go. Nice. Nice. <laughs> well, with that fish right there, he's probably going to be the perfect eater. We're going to keep him. We're going to wrap up this video. Since you did the intro, do you want to do the outro? Did you have fun today? I had so much fun. Thank you, you did, for taking me. <laughs> you did really good. She. This is her first time doing the whole snap jigging thing. Normally I have her on a jig and a leech, but I decided that we're gonna teach her the whole method of this and she did good. She provided our, our last eating fish. So thank you so much for watching and don't forget. Get outside. <laughs>